This is to show you how to install the membrane keypad repair kit in the Panasonic KXTGA 680 telephone. Uh, you just take the battery cover off and remove the batteries. And it, this one's pretty easy. There's um, just two screws in the back and one inside. I like to put them in the battery cover lid just to keep track of them. Now, to take the phone apart, I like to pry it apart from the back a little bit where you just took the screws out. And uh, just apply a little pressure in the gap. Push your fingers into the gap to apply a little pressure. There's a few snaps. We already got one out right here. And I just slide the flathead screwdriver up till it won't go anymore and then just tweak it a little bit. And that'll pop out. And at this point, you might be able to just pull the back housing and wiggle it back and forth. But this one's pretty stiff. Um, I'm going to go over on this side. It's above the headset jack plug. There we go. I'm going to try it again. Oh, this one's still pretty stiff. I'm going to do it one more time right there. Now I've got to apply the pressure in the back. There we go. Now it should definitely come off. Yeah, came off easy that time. You don't want to be pulling it off because you'll rip this speaker wire right off. Um, so you want to you want to use just a little pressure in the back and pop those clips. So there's one more screw right here with like a plastic washer. Keep that together. And this one you just pull out at this point and I flip it over like a book. And the speaker here isn't really held on by anything so I'll grab the wires and pull it right off and then I can take this right away. Makes it easier to work with. And then I like to go sideways like that. Now for cleaning, which is very critical, I use isopropyl alcohol. Um, here it is, 91% is the best. If you only have 70, you can get away with that. But there's more water in it. And uh, you can use uh, a cleaning rag or uh, Q-tips or even an old toothbrush. Uh, depending on how bad it is, you can even take this keypad right out of here and go uh, rinse it off in the sink with hot water and just regular soap. Just make sure it's dry before you put it back in. And if the keypad does come out, you're going to put it all back in and, and just make sure everything is back in place and the buttons aren't stuck crooked underneath the plastic housing. So, what I do is I just put some rubbing alcohol on a rag and then you can clean the buttons off. You want to make sure it's nice and dry and uh, it's not sticky or oozy oil left on there. And if there's a bunch on here you want to clean that off. This one really didn't need it but usually when your keypad's bad there'll be some oil in there. Okay, now this is made to fit right in there. It fits around the microphone and there's slots up here that go around these little bumps on the display. So it fits right in there when you're done. All you gotta do is peel off the back paper. And you can either start at the bottom. On this one I like to start at the top because you got those two notches. Helps you wind it up. You just, just lightly make sure it's there. You don't want to be pushing down on it. You want it to be as flat as possible. And that's pretty much it. So now we got to put the uh, speaker back in. And I want you to see here, I'll focus in. That's the back of the speaker, the four dots. And that's the, the actual part that makes the sound. So we want the four dots to be facing up. And it, it slides in sideways. And there's space for the, this little notch in the wires. 
it kind of tucks down in there good. And just, oh, if you got any fingerprints on the display, you're going to want to clean that off now or on this glass here if there's any dust. And just flip that over. There's a, oh, that came out. There's a plastic pin that goes up in a hole in that corner. And the nice thing about this phone is the charging pins can't come out, so pretty much all set. You just put the screw with the plastic washer back in up here. And then we carefully make sure you don't pinch any of the wires in the plastic housing when you're snapping it back together. And it goes together really easy. Oop, I left out the headset jack. Always put the headset jack on first. Now the membrane keypad is going to block any oil and dirt from getting in there ever again. And the black contact points on the membrane keypad replace the rubber keypad for the electrical contacts so they should never wear out on you again and buttons work great and that's it